Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel Be Creative and Artistic and another video. So when I posted videos related to study tips, study hacks, study timetable, I got a lots of requests from my beautiful viewers on how to set up a study space on floor, especially for those children who don't have a study table. So I'm going to share with you all a couple of tips on how to set up a simple, cute and productive study space on the floor. Let's get started. One of the key to effective studying is finding a good study spot. So I have selected this corner to set up the study space and make sure you don't have lots of distractions. It should be calm, pleasant and quiet. And most important thing is embrace natural light. Your mother always say you that you should not read in the dark. And they are right. You will end up eye strain and fatigue. So open your windows and let that natural daylight into your study space. Or else you can put on the lights. That's it. So next I'm going to use a rug or mat to spread on the floor. If you don't have a mat, then you can use a cotton bed sheet or a blanket. Just like this. Next I'm going to share with you all a very unique and simple study table. This was my mom's idea and I hope you will all love it. So for this you will need an old cardboard box. And next my mom she's going to fill some old clothes, cushions etc. You can even keep your old books too. So now I'm going to close whole sides and securing it with a cello tape. And yeah, finally she's going to cover the cardboard with a towel or blanket. And with the help of 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 safety pins, I'm going to secure the ends of the clothes, just like this. Oh wow, this is looking so pretty and cool. So if you don't have a cardboard like this, you can also use this type of cushions. So next I'm going to keep my notebooks and textbooks on the cushion. Now if you don't have this type of cushions, don't worry. You can also use these kinds of cardboard. Now keep your books in a vertical position like this. This also looks so cute. Friends I'm using this type of basket to arrange my stationary items. So I will place my cello tapes scissors, double punching machine, etc, etc, etc. Next, I have taken a small cardboard box. I'm going to fill it with my small stationary items. Let's see what all they are. First, I will keep my erasers. Sharpener. Next, I'm going to place a sprite can. What sprite can? No way, this is a pen. Looks cool. Next, I'm having a syringe. No, this is not a syringe or injection tool, it's a pen. These are only few but I have more kind of weird looking childish stuffs like this. I'm going to place this into the basket. Next on the right hand side of our study table, I'm using a plastic tray. And plus I'm using this type of plastic tin to keep in the tray. This was actually Hershey's chocolate powder tin. And I reused it as my sketch pen and marker holder tin. Next I'm having a pen holder. And yeah, I'm going to fill it with gel pens, ball pens, pencils, scales, etc. And I have also kept a geometry box too. The most important thing is to keep your water bottle. So finally, our study space organization is ready. So for a final touch, I'm going to give a small decor. It's very optional. So I'm going to place two cushions. You can also use pillows. Then I'm going to place two artificial flowers here and there to make my study space a little bit enhanced and beautiful look. So this was a very simple and easy study space makeover on the floor. And if you found this video helpful, share with your friends and classmates who are not having a study table. Just show your love and help them. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And for more videos, subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon for my latest new videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.